why a car isn't an investment, despite everything the finance officer will say to claim that it is. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homer Guy, here with the amazing Elizabeth. Today, we thought we'd teach you a car buying lesson, and it's a little bit of a humorous lesson, but it illustrates one of the dumbest things dealers and their finance officers just love to tell you about. So don't miss the key takeaway here today. Since this is a school of super high intensity training for car buyers, we decided to offer a dealer only investment opportunity flying under the flag of seemingly honest investment tips. Yeah, seemingly honest. Mm -hmm. And that is spot on. What we are going to present today is totally seemingly honest. We guarantee it just like the dealers do. In fact, we're making some huge improvements in the investment opportunity that we're going to propose for these finance officers. Yes, it's a little tongue in cheek, but you can certainly count on it being way better wink, wink, <laughs> that any investment opportunity <laughs> the dealers and finance officers are always telling you about in dealer finance. So it is a dealer only plan. So if you're a car buyer, you just have to watch. This is not for you, but, but that's good because we leave the hosing of car buyers to car dealers. After all, they're the pros at this. But this investment idea is most definitely for dealers and finance officers. Yes. The opportunity we're proposing is so good, we're confident we could be backed up for weeks with new dealers and finance officers waiting to sign up. It should happen. And start investing immediately. And of course, we'll sell them a bunch of extra fees and tack on extra stuff so their investment is totally protected just the way they do it. Yes, it has to be protected. So here we go. First, some of you may or may not be aware of the rapid depreciation of a car. So let's discuss that for a moment with our investment plan so it makes total sense. If you buy a brand new car, here's something you ought to know. In year one, on average, you lost 25% of your original investment value. It could be as much as 30% if you're a very lousy car shopper. Right. In year two, you're out another 18%. Year three is around a 14% loss. Year four, still another 14% loss. And year five, you only lost 12%. Such good news. Congratulations. You've now accumulated a total loss of 60% on average. Well, there's a hidden tip right here. Remember I said that learning opportunity? So let's point it out. Have any of you wondered why we suggest that you shop for cars around three to five years old? We also recommend that you shop for cars that are five to seven year old and expand your horizon to private party sellers. Yes, we said it. Dealers aren't really the best places to buy used cars. Oh, especially not now. <laughs> no, definitely not now. Now, the layout you see here on the screen, the years of steady losses, this is what your finance man keeps referring to as an investment. And then he or she says that you have to protect this investment by spending even more money on overpriced and often worthless items like warranties, gap insurance, step protection, nitrogen tires, paint protection, <sighs> fabric protection, tired wheel protection. Are <laughs> there others on. in this? Glass protection. Oh, and then of course, you know, tons of fees, often even thousands of dollars in fees. Is there idiot protection? Uh, oh, I think I okay. think there is. Sorry. <laughs> well, if you bought all this protecting your investment plan they were proposing and you paid all those outrageous fees because you found it to be both your pleasure and honor uh, buying a car from the dealer you chose, well, you're the person who suffers catastrophic financial losses as soon as you leave the dealership. Count on your losses being more in the 30% category. But your investment's protected. Yes, very protective. Well, sort of. All right. We want to get on to sharing our amazing, seemingly honest investment tips for car dealers and their finance officers. So let's have those investment numbers for a car put back on the screen so dealers will know what an amazing opportunity this is for them. And then we can compare the two investments side by side. For car dealers and finance officers only, we're going to allow you to send us a cash amount of 37851 Right. We chose that number because it's the average cost of a car in 2020. Bingo. And we thought you'd be very accustomed and comfortable with that amount. Of course. Mm -hmm. So we start your deposit of 37851 with some protections and fees. You don't really need to know what any of this stuff is because you sell it all the time, but that total comes to 4,500 bucks. So just a protection for your investment, something we are sure all of our dealer and finance officers uh, will be totally be aware of and pleased to be a part of. But since others are sure to love this, we're sure that you'll love it too. So please send us an extra check for $4,500 and then we can start your investment plan uh, pretty much immediately after this that. This is really working out great, Kevin. Yes, it is. Okay, you'll be very glad to know that we've greatly reduced the risk of losses in this investment, which means that you should think it's super attractive to you. You see, investments you sell are on the 25, 18, 14, 14 plan. That's the dealer plan. Sure, but our plan it's so much better. It's called the 20 10 10 10 5 plan. It's it keeps a, good a plan. ton of money in your pocket. 
Yes, you'll be delighted to know that we've slowed down the losses just for you. Because we love dealers and finance officers. <laughs> Check it out. All right. Starting on year one, your deposit of 37851 it only falls by a modest $7,570 because we're only subtracting 20% for us to use for, well, our kind of our own purposes, yeah. like a vacation or something. But you still have 30280 in your account with us. Uh, that's great. It gets better though. We're only taking 10% in years two, three, and four, because as we said, we want to make sure we're way better investors than the ones that you're peddling. So as you can see, we just took over 8,200 from your account and you're left with 2274. What, what a, a great, great investment. investment. Yeah, that's <laughs> awesome. You have so much money left in your investment with us. You must just be ecstatic, you guys. Then in year five, this is the best part. We're only going to take out a mere 5%, which matches rather nicely with year five. Five and five, yeah. Yep, it's only $1,100 we grabbed, and we have the incredibly high total of 20504 left. That's less than a 45% loss. A way better deal than the 60% loss, <clears throat> I mean, investment that you guys <laughs> sell car buyers. <clears throat> Now, that is what you call a seemingly honest investment tip, an investment which was well protected by the initial check you send us of $4,500. And for all of you car dealers and finance guys who might not have liked us, well, now I'm sure you love us now. <laughs> you have this, to love this us. This is a great investment plan. So in the comment section below, can we get dealers and finance officers to let us know how excited they are about this new, seemingly honest investment tip we just shared? We can't wait to get all of you started. Dealers and finance officers only. Don't forget that. Yes, because car buyers get to have all those other investments like cars. Yes, you car buyers, you already got your great investment opportunity in the dealer finance office. You can't expect to be a part of this too. No, of course not. Okay, so time for a little serious conversation okay. here. This is for our viewers. We did this show for a reason. Some of you don't understand how ludicrous it is that a finance officer calls a car purchase an investment and then convinces you to buy even more stuff and pay more fees to protect this investment. Was there anything about our dealer and finance officers seemingly honest investment tip program that seemed really stupid? Well, I hope so, as in no way would any person with even the most minimal brain activity would think that it's an investment program. Well, get that chart back up. For you car buyers out there, you see what happens to your 37,851 car purchase based on the depreciation numbers, right? You go all the way from 37,851 down to 15,150, and that's just in the first five years. You may have laughed at us the whole way through the seemingly honest car investment tip presentation, but you're biting this bitter pill every day, and some of you, not all, actually believe the investment story. How could any of you believe the protecting your investment story when you see numbers like this? Does this look like an investment to you? Uh, anyone out there? There should be crickets out there. Uh, I don't hear a thing. <laughs> All right. If you appreciate this comedic look at the thing that finance officers call investment, give us that great big thumbs up and smash that button down below if you're not already subscribed. And of course, remember to hit that notification bell so you stay up to date on all of our latest stuff. And if you love what we do and want to send a tip, well, the PayPal and Cash App links that you see appearing on the screen here will be easy to find in that description box down below and on our website. But do you guys know what's the best way you can help us out? Help us get the word out by sharing these videos with your family and friends. And you can visit us on other social media links here on the screen. Just join us and let's blow up the homework guide to a million subscribers. Absolutely. Well, thanks everyone for coming back. We'll see you on our next video. You guys rock. I'm Kevin Hunter with the amazing Elizabeth. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.